Get ready for a real page turner. I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Joe Deaver's Lone Wolf on the Nintendo Switch. The Lone Wolf is an interactive choose-your-own-adventure book with turn-based battles peppered throughout. As the Lone Wolf, you begin the story by choosing some traits about yourself that will accompany you during your journey. Are you the passionate warrior that rushes into battle, or cool and calculating before making your first move? The choices you make will affect the options that you have to choose from later on. The interactive story that you're reading from will pose different situations, giving you different choices to solve them. From mind magic to sneaking past enemies or all-out battle, the choices reflect what kind of lone wolf you aim to be. The action in Lone Wolf consists of turn-based battles with action cues similar to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. To perform a proper heavy attack, you'll have to swing your left joystick at just the right moment. To use your throwing knives, hitting the Y button three times perfectly ensures all three knives are thrown. When in a normal turn-based battle, you select your choice and sit back and take in the outcome. In Lone Wolf, that's just when the fun begins. If you miss your action or button cue, you can miss the attack or counterattack. If you still play your cards right and go on the defensive for the enemy's turn, you're then given the opportunity to dodge all incoming attacks if you move out of the way at just the right time. There's also a time limit for each of your turns, making you quickly select which actions you will perform. Unfortunately, when fighting, you can't see what each of the attacks do. While I remember the locations of the heavy, quick, and combined attacks, shortly after the tutorial, I forgot what all of the buffs and debuffs did. But eventually, you begin to learn the attacks, and you can breeze through the motions when in the heat of battle. As you play through the story, which is all read in book form, the battles appear in little sections, unfortunately feeling like two different experiences rather than one solid game. The story is quite well written and part of the Lone Wolf series, and if I was in the mood for this book, I would honestly just rather read it as a book on my Kindle. When reading through sections in the story, I wished I was exploring the world, as the picture painted by the author seems like it would be fantastic to explore. However, the only parts of the game that you actually control the character are during combat and brief Skyrim-like lockpicking moments. Joe Deaver's Lone Wolf is a unique experience on the Nintendo Switch, and any fan of Choose Your Own Adventure books will certainly have a great time on this journey. However, for me, a lot of the game experience is lost when most of that experience is just a book. Lone Wolf ends up feeling like a string of repetitive turn-based battles rather than a cohesive story where you're fighting to save the lands that you rule. That's why I'm giving The Lone Wolf on the Nintendo Switch a 6.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and follow me on the Metacritic and Twitter at TheFlannelFox. See you next time, Switchers.